We've spoken about the autumn trends that we love and now it's time to speak about the autumn trends to avoid. Hey guys welcome back happy friday if you're watching this on the day that i upload it today i thought we would sit down and just have a chat i thought it'd be nice to catch up about some autumn fashion trends i recently did a video where i went through all of the autumn trends to look out for this season and it kind of got me thinking about the autumn trends that i'm not a fan of and i know that this video might be a little bit negative so sorry for that i like to keep things positive but there are a few autumn trends that i am just not not interested in and I keep seeing them all over my social and I'm just like no I don't like that and that's okay I want to say before getting into these this video is just for a little bit of fun fashion should be fun and if you like these trends and I don't like them then that is completely fine it's okay to have different opinions and it shouldn't be taken too seriously so with that let's jump into the autumn trends that I hate number one this one I'm going to say 90% of us will agree. This one is fuzzy shoes. I don't know what is up with this or like who thought that this was a good idea. I think on one side they are highly unpractical. Like if you wear these out, especially in the colder months, they're going to get wet. They're going to get soggy. They just feel like they shouldn't be a part of our everyday outfit. So I'm confused how this has become popular. I understand it's kind of creating that like loungewear, sleepwear vibe in our everyday clothes and you know they kind of resemble slippers which obviously I do like but I personally think slippers belong at home and not on the catwalk or not in our everyday lives or on our night out the fuzzy shoes should stay at home because that is where they belong so I've seen so many of these pop up and I, I think it's more of like a celebrity thing because they honestly can get away with it I feel like the average everyday person would struggle to get away with wearing these obviously if you like them wear them that is completely fine but like how would you even style them like i probably would say like with a dress or something a little bit loose and flowy and maybe sheer kind of leaning into that bed bedwear loungewear sleepwear vibe because they do kind of fit in that category but again all of that clothing to me is not really practical clothing and so when i think of autumn and the colder months i think of practicality and i think of things that are weatherproof and these just don't scream weatherproof to me at all and so for that reason in they're getting a big fat x and i am going to leave these they're not going to be part of my autumn wardrobe at all and i'm glad to say that i will not be investing in them up next the second autumn trend that i hate is gonna be i'm sorry guys bag charms i know there's gonna be so many of you that love these and find them so cute and adorable and i honestly can understand what you're trying to get at like i understand it there was a time and period in our lives i think it was like maybe the 90s or the early 2000s when bag charms were a thing they were popular i feel like i want to say paris hilton kind of had bag charms at that time maybe kim kardashian as well but i don't think they belong in this era i probably sound like a proper millennial right now but believe it or not i am a gen z but i just feel like they unnecessary like i feel like it's unnecessary does it not like make your bag heavier than it needs to be our, our bags are heavy as they are like i have so much stuff in my bag i have notepads my sunglasses my purse my lip gloss i have my i'm trying to think what else like extra makeup like i don't need to add more weight to my bag by adding a charm to make it look pretty i feel like a lot of you guys are going to hate me for saying all of this but i just don't feel the need to decorate my bag my my bag is already gorgeous as it is and i don't really need to add the accessories to it and that's probably like the older side of jess coming out i'm 27 now i'm getting a bit more mature but yeah i just don't love it i can probably get down with the idea of a scarf on my bag but the idea of like clipping on like heavy metal charms i just can't support it sadly so i think with this definitely less is more i think when people overload them it just looks a little bit random but when you have maybe one on there maybe one or two at max then i can kind of appreciate it a little bit more but again i just don't want the added weight so i'm not going to invest in this trend i'm going to leave it with everybody else if you want to get involved feel free but yeah not one for me okay moving on to trend number three that i hate and this one might come as a surprise but i am not liking winter florals i feel like there was a phase maybe like 
six or seven years ago now where the floral dress was everywhere we were obsessed with the floral dress it was all we ever wore and so many different variations of it came out i think rixo were really like a big brand to kind of make a statement with the floral dress and then it definitely developed into the high street a lot more and i don't know about you but i had so many floral dresses i actually just had a realization i remember in the first year of lockdown covid i was online shopping like nobody's business and i don't know why but i think i ordered like 50 floral dresses at one point like i just went crazy the lockdown was doing mad things to me and i remember getting this package and it was so big and it was full of just floral dresses and i think i did like a reel or like a video of like all these floral dresses but like nobody could wear them anywhere so i don't even know what i was thinking but that kind of tells you how much i was loving the floral dress vibe for this trend the reason why i'm hating it is because a i just don't really like a floral dress anymore i've kind of gone off it i like like simple muted colors but b i don't really think that florals belong in the winter and i might retreat on that i might go back on my words but i just feel like florals belong in the summertime i guess it is nice to add that kind of colorful bright take on your clothing when the weather outside might be a bit dull i guess adding the flowers to our clothing might kind of brighten up our everyday mood because we are not seeing like the flowers outside and so i can understand that but i think there's something quite like dis disjointed about having like a big floral dress when it's colder outside i think for me in this what i'm trying to reference more is the dark take on florals i don't like it when you have like a black like dress full of like black roses or like deep red roses like i just think that flowers should be bright and colorful and i think that when we try and make them appropriate for the winter it doesn't work does that make sense so i guess you could wear your summer bright floral dress in the winter i personally would just save it for the summer and spring but if you did want to brighten up your wardrobe go ahead and do it that way but i've realized now that what i'm trying to communicate to you guys is that i don't like it when flowers and florals are taken to the darker side and kind of put in these more dark dingy colors i think that they belong in spring and summer and we should wait until that season comes again to embrace them Okay, the next trend that I'm going to avoid and that I definitely do not like is the idea of a cape jacket. Capes have been around for a long time now and I think they have their time and place. I personally think the silhouette of them, it feels a little bit weird in this era. Obviously, we have the world of vintage fashion, which I love, and I think a cape lends itself quite well, not quite well, very well to vintage fashion. There are so many photos of 1920s and I think 30s of of capes being worn and i love it in the sense of that i just think that the more modern take on capes like it just isn't really blending seamlessly into the outfits that we're kind of pairing them with and i just think that they don't really serve a proper purpose like are you in it are you out it like i can't really figure it out and like i said before i like practicality when it comes to the colder months in the year and a cape for me is just not that it doesn't deliver on the practicality like is it gonna keep me warm i don't know and i would rather just wear my big fuzzy jacket than wear a cape which is like half on half off i also just think that the idea of a cape is something that is being pushed upon us like every now and again you know you see it on a lot of catwalks and things but i just think that ultimately we as like the general public like we can't really get behind it and i think that there's a reason why it's not become mainstream and that's because it's just like unwearable in our everyday lives and they're also extremely difficult to style in our everyday lives and they they tend to be more on the expensive side so those three things just kind of make them a little bit less accessible and on that note i do think that the cape you know it does look gorgeous when it comes to country side fashion and i know that a lot of like royal family and more of like the british countryside aesthetic would kind of lean into the cape but yeah i just think sometimes they don't look hugely practical and that's just my opinion so yeah i won't be buying a cape anytime soon sadly <laughs> however i'm not too sad to miss out on that one 
okay and just like that we are jumping to our final trend of autumn that i hate and this one is going to be distressed and low rise jeans i've kind of put these together even though they technically are two different like styles of jeans i think low rise is still somewhat of a trend people are still kind of trying to make it happen and i think it did happen for a little bit but it's definitely dying out a little bit going back to practicality which is what i've talked about a lot in this video they're just not practical for this time of the year. You're going to have to wear a big baggy like oversized top to kind of make sure that you're not cold. I don't know about you, but when it's colder, I eat more food and that results in a bit of a bigger tummy and I don't really want that on show with low rise jeans. So for me, I would definitely will not be trying them. On the other side of that, the idea of distressed jeans and these are kind of more of the jeans that either have been like DIY'd, I've seen a few with like feathers on the side or ones that have been kind of rhinestoned on the front. In fact, rhinestoning has come back I've seen so many people rhinestoning their water bottles and yeah it's weird <laughs> yeah the idea of diying your jeans or distressing your jeans i feel like it was very 2010 and i just really now prefer the look of clean and a clean aesthetic but i think it's funny how we can regularly go around in circles like i feel like as a generation like one month we're enjoying the clean girl aesthetic the next month we're trying to be all edgy and like mob wife it's constantly going from like one extreme to the other which is really interesting and distressed jeans definitely lend themselves to more of the kind of edgy like rough around the edges um style and i guess that's just not really a style that i'm into at the moment i like my jeans to not have any holes in and that's it okay okay so those were all of my trends for autumn that i am not enjoying let me know in the comments below did you agree with any of them but try not to give me too much hate this was just my own preference and if you don't agree that that is completely fine i'm sure there are trends that i love that everybody else hates and that is fine as well let me know in the comments below are there any trends out there that i've not mentioned today that you are not a fan of please share as i would love to hear your thoughts and yes thank you so much for watching i love you guys a lot and i will see you in the next video Bye.